off so chilled. Oh, we're good. Oh, not chill. So, for the people that are watching this video, uh -huh. what advice would you give, like, you're, you're a box owner. Right. People that are going to attack this workout, what would you say? Don't be a dummy. You did 33 thrusters and 33 chest bars in two minutes. Yeah, um, so this one, I think you have to break up massively from the beginning. So I know I did, th I did three sets on my thrusters. I'm actually happy with my uh, breakdown. If you watch the announcement video, I broke, I broke my thrusters and my chest bar up well before I had to, and I'm glad I did because after the set of 27, the workout gets very real, and you need to, you need to plan accordingly. In this workout, if you watched it, transitions and fast reps do not matter as much as you not resting long. So you don't have to haul ass anywhere. You just have to do small rests. And if I was going to improve, I think I just need to get fitter and do thrusters more and faster with less rest. But honestly, I think that you just have to break them up smartly from the get-go. So he said break it up early. If you had like a group of athletes at the end of here and you were telling them what would you do for this workout? How would you how would you attack it? I would uh, say do it as similar to what I did as possible. Um, I think unbroken thrusters as long as you can, uh, and then break up the pull-ups a lot to stay to take your time so you can get back to the thrusters and do them broken. Like if you go a big set of thrusters and then just crush the pull-ups, you're right back on those thrusters in no time. So pull-ups are a little bit easier to break up and get back up. So I think big sets of thrusters, small sets of pull-ups. What's going on team? Welcome to this video. This is 19.5, the last workout. You've probably woke up this morning if you're in the UK or anywhere around Europe, or obviously if you're in America, you've just watched it and uh, the announcement. 27, 20, no. Oh geez, that's too small. 33, 27, 21, 15, 9 thrusters and chest bar pull-ups. You probably looked at this like I did and went, oh no, this can't be bad. And watching Sean and um, Travis Williams go, eight, nine minutes, that's in insane. We watched the fittest in Ireland go after and it was around 11 or 12 minutes. That's still absolutely insane for like us mere mortals looking at it like, wow, this is gonna hurt. There's a couple of plans of attack for this, like, we spoke to Sean and Travis straight after, two completely different athletes, like Travis is a hot out the blocks and hold on. Sean is like more of those, one of those like strategic guys. Just today, Travis won. But two, two schools of thought and then mine. Travis says, go hot out the blocks, hold on to the thrusters, and then break up the pull-ups as you need. So basically hold on to the bar for unbroken sets for as long as possible. And then on the pull-ups, that's where you kind of take your rest, do some mini sets, just keep them moving, but don't go for giant sets and don't let your arms burn out. On the other hand, Sean was saying that basically break way before you need to and just keep it smooth and consistent and think about numbers that you're gonna hit kind of along the way. So maybe 33, you might look at a 13, a 10, and a 10. On the 21, you might look at three three sets of seven, that kind of thing. Personally, for me, like it depends on what your strengths and what your weaknesses are. For me, I think thrusters are a strength of mine and chest of bars are definitely a weakness. Like it's one of the things that when I see them come up in workouts, I'm like, ah, damn. Like, eh. So for me personally with this workout, then I'm gonna look at going along kind of the Travis's route. And if you are kind of the same athlete, you struggle with chest of bars, try and hold on to the thrusters for a lot longer, do some bigger sets within the thrusters. But then what's, what I'm gonna do when I get to the chest of bars is maybe do sets of six and seven right from the start just because then I can keep keep moving and I always have manageable sets so even when my arms are knackered when I get you know to the round of 15 and 9 I can still do those sets of five and keep them consistent on the other hand if you are great at chest bar and maybe your thruster or your leg strength isn't as good then maybe break up the thrusters from the start do some smaller sets and then when you get to the bar hold on for a little bit longer I just think for a lot of us obviously it's 105 chest bar it's 105 thrusters it's a lot of reps for for anyone stay Stay calm within the workout, don't get riled up because honestly if you think about the rep scheme when you're going in and you're on the round of 33 and you're like, oh this really hurts, well then, you know, it's going to hurt for the rest of the workout and it's going to hurt worse. One thing I learned from physio is, I got the security guard looking at us, <laughs> look at him, he's having a great time. <laughs> The one thing I learned from physio is that, you know, if you perceive pain and you hate what you're doing, you're going to feel more pain. Like, it's just scientific fact. So just stay calm, take in those deep breaths, and be smooth, because smooth is efficient, and efficient is fast. So, yeah.
me personally, if I was talking to the majority of CrossFitters out there, you know, just break up the thrusters as needed, break them up early, keep your breath nice and smooth, and keep the chest bars. Like, obviously, they're a hard movement for a lot of people. So, if it's if you struggle with chest bars, then just do singles. You know, you can also do underhand. I think I'm not 100% sure on the the standards, but. If you're someone like me who isn't that confident with chest bars, break them up early, do manageable sets, do sets that you can keep moving, don't get pulled along by someone next to you that's gonna do 33 and broken because later on their arms are gonna burn out. And just have fun with it. Last one, enjoy it. And um, tonight at Filthy 150, it has been incredible. The throwdown was nuts. I'm super excited for the sanctioned event in November. I have done a thruster video, it's called the Throning Thruster. It's kind of shows you how to keep your thrusters efficient using your hips and where to pause and where to break and where to get the most out of them with the high volume so that will be linked down below if you want to watch that before you go and do the workout I've also done a chest bar workout on how to chest a bar specifically how to butterfly chest bar you can also go and watch that that will be linked down below you know just have fun with it go out there and uh, crush it team 20 minute time cap and just work for 20 and if you get there before it you crushed it. It's go. a one and done. Yeah, this is definitely a one and done. I don't think many people will be able to smash this, say, on Friday and then have two days recovery and smash it again on Monday. If you really went hard, your central nervous system, your arms, your legs, you're going to be feeling it for a good half a week. Fun, fun excited. Fun nervous. It's going to hurt. Two. All right, let's go back in and enjoy the party.